at you live. By the way, we're from Creek Bank Creations. Coming to you live at the Mesquite SSAT show in Mesquite, Texas. SSAT. 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 Don't learn how to spell. SSAT. Stamp Scrap Heart Tour. Stamp Scrap Right here in Mesquite, Texas. And Julie has got this new product she's going to show you. It is hotter than a $2 pistol. Let me tell you what right now. And Julie's going to show you how to do it. Are you going to show her how to do it, honey? I am going to show her. She's going to show you. I'm going to get out of here. just want to say hi to you. Good to see you all again. It's been a while. Where, where are you headed? We're going to head to FLA. Going to FLA. That's right. We're going, going to go to Clearwater, Florida. Can't wait to see you there. Come and see us. Okay. Bye, Tom. All right, so we will be in Clearwater, Florida, February the 5th for Stamp Fest. Stamp Fest! Come and then Fest. at the end of February, we will be at um, the Hendrix County Fairgrounds in Danville, Indiana. Is it the 24th and 25th? Look it up. In uh, Danville, Indiana. So I am live at the show. You look right back here behind me is the booth. And I wanted to share with you guys, hello, Teresa. If you're on, log on and let us know where you're from and we'll give you a, a shout, out. Um, shout out. We've had a lot of conversation at the show today about the freestanding tunnel card, which we have talked about before, but I'm gonna go over it briefly because the big question has been, how do you turn the freestanding pen card into a candy box? Now, if you're gonna be in Florida, Next week, we'll make this $2. You can make it at the make and take table. But I want to go over the basics of the freestanding tunnel card. When you purchase the freestanding tunnel card, <clears throat> hang on, there are banners included in that die set. So if you want to add a little banner, hello, Monica from Kentucky. I'm, I'm thrilled to see somebody hanging on on a, uh, on a Sunday is it morning or afternoon? It's it's Pat May, there's your friend Pat hey, May. Pat, Pat, Pat I haven't talked Pat's to you forever. Back. So it's, it's, um, it's February 25th and 26th. February 26th and 20th. 25th and 26th. That's the 20, Friday and, and Saturday show. In February 25 and 26th. So I really, um, I just want to go over the basics and then show you the insert drawer. So what we're talking about is the, hang on. The freestanding tunnel card and this is the freestanding tunnel card is not a new product for us i've done several videos on it but i just want to briefly go over it because there were a lot of people here this weekend who did not know what it was so briefly okay when you open it up i said it's got the banners in there and then what you're going to find are four dies okay and they are not attached to each other on the back of the dies I tape a piece of our medium weight acetate. If you have um, product packaging, you can use um, product packaging that you own. The hair needs fluffed up, ladies. It's not standing up like it's supposed to. I need more hairspray. Um, you can use product packaging, okay? And then what you have in the package is the setup sheet. So you lay your die on top of the setup sheet. Try to do this so you can see it like this okay and then you can tape in the inside piece okay you're gonna do that with both of the dies the short one and the long one it's designed that way so if you want to you can purchase the oval drop-ins and you can take out the rectangle and you can drop in an oval but as is the card is a rectangle so we have this piece right here that I've die cut and this is that inner piece any questions we doing okay okay now this edge has been sized so that it will the quarter inch tape will fit on it you're gonna take your base and you're gonna tape that right in to the edge show you this so that's your panel. Show you from the side. And that makes your box, okay? Now, it's dimensional and then it folds flat so you can mail it. So we accented ours 
for the upcoming holiday with the little gnome. This is the Valentine gnome die set with our um, heart stencil background folds flat. Okay, so the $12 million question is, yeah, but how does that drawer work? So the drawer is a totally separate die because if you've been following us for a while, you know that originally this was just a card base and the um, idea for the drawer did not come until later. So this is what the drawer looks like. Freestanding tunnel card insert drawer is what it's called. And it's just a drawer. So it has the happy birthday sentiments and the balloons in it. But what you're buying is just the drawer, okay? So what you do is you take that card base from the freestanding tunnel card, you put a piece of acetate in the window, and now the, the drawer fits in the freestanding tunnel card. And you can put whatever you want inside the drawer. And um, I found this um, netting at the craft store, and it's got like sparkle on it, but what's cool is it's stretchy. So it's really cool. It's great for the boxes because you can stretch it on and off. Ribbon is cool too, but like you gotta tie it and you can't take it off. Okay, so here's what I wanna, sh I'm gonna show you how to um, put the box together because the $5 million question is, Julie, do you have a YouTube video on how to make the drawer? Which seems like to me you just fold in tape. But we're gonna do a video and show you how to do it. So I'm going to turn the camera down and I'm also going to tell you how to make the um, shims for the inside of the drawer. This does not come with these you make yourself and I'm gonna explain how to do that. If you make the shim, show you this. Here's your box. If you make the shims, okay, this is what you have. And that allows you to have the chocolate sit up perfect in the window for presentation. And it's all about presentation, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera down. Hope is here helping me. And she's gonna tell me if I'm on camera or not. And it's gonna take some doing because we're at a trade show and our setup is um, not standardized. That's a good way to say it, isn't it? Okay, so hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pull it forward, and I'm I'm gonna turn the camera down. So, like, if you get like seasick, close your eyes, because it's gonna get wild. Okay. Am I even on the grid? Time lagged. Oh, how much are we lagging? Just a minute or so. So it's going. Just okay. Going. So hang with us because we've got a time lag here. And if anybody has a comment, oh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks really um, can you tell us where we're at? And we'll hang, we'll keep hanging for a minute. So we're kind of hanging, waiting for the time lag so I can see exactly where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and start taping because I think we're okay. So we're going to put tape on the top edge all the way around. This is gonna die cut and score. Oh good, for us, okay? So we're going all the way around. And I'm using our um, quarter inch super tacky tape. You can use liquid glue if you want to, but that uh, tape, tape will work well. Now, we're gonna take our pick tool. If our tape has been pushed down and pressed into the paper, we should be able to get the pick tool right underneath that and pull that Okay, and we're just gonna take that first fold line and we're gonna fold that in. Okay, we're gonna turn it over to the other side. And we'll do the other side. Okay, now this is reinforced for you. So we're gonna pull that up and that gives us a nice edge there and a nice edge there. Are you with me so far? This would be a great project to do as a group. 
because it's pretty simple really. We're gonna fold in our little flappies on both sides and then we're gonna pull that tape liner off and bring that up and around. I'm gonna fold first, get my fold going. Okay, flap in. Anybody have questions? Can you see comments? So there's my drawer there. Hope's trying to see if we have any questions or comments so we can answer questions. We're, we're, uh, we're greenies here, so hang with us. Okay, so what we're gonna do is fold that up. Now you've got two folds there. I'm gonna pull this up, two fold lines. So we're gonna pull that up, the first line, and then the second line's coming in. So this is really simple to do. That's our drawer. And you can see it is going to fit in our box. And I just put acetate on that window and that's gonna fit right in there. I'm gonna put my adhesive on that outside flap and that's gonna be my box. So that was pretty awesome. Now, let's talk about the shims and I'll show you how I did the shims. We're gonna take matching cardstock and we're gonna cut two pieces four and seven eighths by 2.5. So I have two of those. Am I on camera? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. And then one, three and five eighths by 2.5. We're gonna put the short side of the paper up against the scoreboard and we are going to score every half inch. Yes, I'm making you cut and score yourself. Okay, and we're gonna do all of those that way. At the short side goes up against the top and we're gonna score at a half inch. Hi, how are you? I'm great. We're making the shims for the inside of the candy box. Oh, and where is the candy box? This is the candy box. Okay, so it's a basic box. Okay. And when we put the shims in the box, Beautiful. It's going to hold all of our chocolate for us. We'll be done. We're shooting a live here. We'll be done in a minute. And oh if you have time, no, you're okay. You can sit and do the make and take. This is our make and take. So you can, if you have time, you can make and take with us. Okay. So we're going to take these and we're going to run tape down one edge on all of them. Okay, now we need to make those into those little cubes or squares. So we are going to turn this over. We're gonna turn that edge up. We're gonna get our folds going, turn that up, remove our tape. Okay, and that is gonna make our little boxes for us. Train your fold. So this is very simple. These make amazing little gifts. And um, who doesn't want to get candy for a gift? Fold it up. And now we have our shims. We're gonna take our box get it stuck together. And you're just gonna sit those in the box. And I don't um, adhere them in, I just sit them in. Now my little guys are a little long. We're just gonna trim a little bit. That way they fit exact. Our make and take prepared for us. And those are just a little long. Okay, we're gonna go in there. There we go. And now you see we have that perfect alignment when we close our box up, we have the perfect gift for gift giving. Okay, I'm gonna pull the camera up. I'm gonna pull the camera up, ladies, before we sign off. Yeah, so I'm coming up. Hang on. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Okay. So 
That is the freestanding tunnel card with the insert drawer. The fun thing about the insert drawer is that I included in there the happy birthday die, the base, and some balloons. So you do get some bonus dies in there. So thanks for hanging with me. Anybody have any questions? Can you see, see any? any kind of okay, any questions in the feed? All right. Comments, yeah. All right. So I'm so thrilled that you came to visit with me and Hank. Hold on, hold on. I got something for you here. You don't know this, but when I do a trade show, these are stuck underneath my little um, grid pad on my table. And would you like to know what they are? I'm going to tell you what they are. I'm going to show you right here. See this? I'm going to show you this. This is how you survive the world of um, COVID-19 going on two years. Right here. Ready? Fear not. For you will not be put to shame, neither will you be humiliated or disgraced. You will forget the shame of your youth and reproach of your, I don't know what that word is, no more. So my handwriting is so bad I can't read it. Here's the point. Isaiah 54, 4. You will forget the shame of your youth. So here's what I'm saying about this thing right here. The Lord said to me, Fear not. That's what he's saying to all of us. Fear not. And he's saying, there'll be a day when you forget all of this horrible stuff that we've all survived. Because at this point, we're survivors. So this is a promise from the Lord for us. You will forget all of that stuff. We just have to keep moving forward one day at a time. And we do that by choosing to fear not. So that's your encouragement for today. So bless you guys. This product's on the website. We have new products coming in and we'll be shooting more video about new products. Thank you so much. God bless. Okay, that was